Shemot, Exodus 35. And Moshe gathered at all the assembly of the children of Yasharael together and said unto them, These are the words which Yahuwah has commanded, that ye should do them. Six days shall be, rather, shall work be done. But on the seventh day there shall be to you a holy day, a Shabbat of rest to Yahuwah. Whosoever does work therein shall be put to death. Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the Shabbat. And Moshe spoke unto all the assembly of the children of Yasharael, saying, This is the thing which Yahuwah commanded, saying, Take ye from among you an offering unto Yahuwah, whosoever is of a willing heart, let him bring it, at an offering of Yahuwah, gold and silver and brass, and blue and purple and scarlet, and fine linen and goat's hair, and ram's skins dyed red, and badger's skins, and shittim wood, and oil for the light, and spices for anointing oil, and for the sweet incense, and onyx stones, and stones to be set for the ephod, and for the breastplate. And every wise-hearted among you shall come and make at all that Yahuwah has commanded, at the tabernacle, at his tent, and at his covering, at his tax, and at his boards, and at his bars, and at his pillars, and at his sockets, at the ark, and at the staves thereof, with at the mercy seat, and at the veil of the covering, at the table, and at his staves, and at all his vessels, and at the showbread, at the menorah, also for the light, and at his furniture, and at his lamps, and at the oil for the light, and at the incense altar, and at his staves, and at the anointing oil, and at the sweet incense, and at the hanging for the door at the entering in of the tabernacle, at the altar of burnt offering, with at his brazen gate, rather great, at his staves and at all his vessels, at the laver and at his foot, at the hangings of the court, his pillars and their sockets, and the hanging for the door of the court. The pins of the tabernacle and the pins of the court and their cords, the cloths of service to do service in the holy place, the holy garments for Aharon the priest, and the garments of his sons to minister in the priest's office, and all the assembly of the children of Yasharael departed from the presence of Moshe. And they came, every one whose heart stirred him up, and every one whom his ruach made willing. And they brought Yahuwah's offering to the work of the tabernacle of the assembly and for all his service and for the holy garments. And they came, both men and women, as many as were willing-hearted, and brought bracelets and earrings and rings and tablets, all jewels of gold. And every man that offered, offered an offering of gold unto Yahuwah. And every man with whom was found blue and purple and scarlet and fine linen and goat's hair and red skins of rams and badger's skins brought them. Every one that did offer an offering of silver and brass brought at Yahuwah's offering, and every man with whom was found shittim wood 
for any work of the service brought it. And all the women that were wise-hearted did spin with their hands and brought that which they had spun, both et of blue and et of purple and et of scarlet and et of fine linen. And all the women whose hearts stirred them up in wisdom spun at goat's hair. And the rulers brought at onyx stones and stones to be set for the ephod and for the breastplate and at spice and at oil for the light and for the anointing oil and for the sweet incense. The children of Yasharael brought a willing offering unto Yahuwah, every man and woman whose heart made them willing to bring for all manner of work, which Yahuwah had commanded to be made by the hand of Moshe. And Moshe said unto the children of Yasharael, See, Yahuwah has called by name Betzalel, the son of Uri, the son of Chori, the tribe of Yahuda, And he has filled him with the Ruach Elohim in wisdom, in understanding, and in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship, and to devise curious works, to work in gold and in silver and in brass, and in the cutting of stones, to set them, and in carving of wood, to make any manner of cunning work. And he has put in his heart that he may teach both he and Ohileliav, the son of Akiachamak, of the tribe of Dan. Them has he filled with wisdom of heart to make rather work all manner of work of the engraver and of the cunning workman and of the embroiderer in blue and in purple and in scarlet and in fine linen and of the weaver, even of them that do any work and of those that devise cunning work.